According to Forbes, nearly 80% of people will ditch their New Year's resolutions by February. Why is this important to know? Well, if you've signed any new clients this year, then don't be surprised if some of them are struggling to stay consistent. And although you can't do their workouts and cook their meals for them, it's your job as the coach to keep them on track as best as you can. So if you're starting to hear or see comments like, I thought I would have lost more weight by now, coach, or my weight is the same as last week, why is this not working, coach? Or the classic, work is really busy right now, coach, and I'm struggling to find the time to get to the gym. Then apply at least one of my top three coaching interventions so your clients don't drop off in February. First, manage their expectations. Most clients will lose weight in the first few weeks of working with you. But over time, their weight loss will slow down. Therefore, you need to manage their expectations so they don't feel like they are feeling. Case in point, back when I was a coach and training people, I remember asking a particular client, how was your week? To which he replied, yeah, great thanks. My nutrition was on point and I did everything that you said, Ruth. After a little back and forth, I asked him to step on the scales so I could record his weight, only to realize he was the same weight for two weeks running. Of course, I wasn't concerned, but my client felt dejected. And as a result, his negative energy bled into the rest of our session. And the best way to handle situations like this is to manage your client's expectations. How do you do this? Remind them that weight loss is not linear. Clearly explain to them that once they've lost a few pounds, it's normal for their weight loss to slow down or stall completely. Make sure your client understands that although they won't lose weight every single week, if they stay consistent, they can expect to see a downward trajectory over time. Successfully managing expectations can often be the difference between a glowing testimonial and your client dropping off the face of the earth. Which brings me to my second point, revisit their goals. Unless you specialize in muscle building, mobility, or a specific sport, most of your clients will come to you because they wanna lose weight. But in my experience, goals can change on a dime. So come priorities. For example, let's say one of your clients is new to weight training. It wouldn't be unusual for them to become less interested in skill weight and more interested in improving their squat, bench, or deadlift. Although this is just an example, I've seen this happen over and over again with clients. So if you're not checking in with your client and revisiting their original goals, then you risk losing them to another trainer or coach. And this process doesn't have to be formal. You can simply revisit their goals in your next one-to-one -one session or online check-in to ensure they're still engaged with the process. And remember to ask probing questions and listen to what the specific words and phrases that they're using. If their why has changed, they'll tell you and all you have to do is adjust accordingly. Okay, let's move on to the last thing you need to do in order to keep your clients on track. Show them all of their progress. Most people get tunnel vision when it comes to the number on the scale. So naturally their motivation levels are going to drop when their weight loss slows down, right? So your clients, you've got to show them how far they've come in other areas. That's not only going to give them that boost in confidence, but it's going to reassure them that they are on the right track. Here's what I mean. As well as they're tracking their weight, their measurements, their progress pictures, make sure to comment on things like how much they're now lifting, how much their squat technique has improved, how much they can touch their toes with ease, or how much their back pain has decreased, or how much they've cut down on drinking alcohol and eating junk food, or how they used to struggle to get through the warm up with you, and now they're completing the full session. I mean, the list is endless, you get the idea. So take the initiative and show your clients all the off the scale wins. And there you have it. Three interventions to ensure your clients cruise through the rest of the year with you. What step do you think will have the biggest impact on your clients. Comment below, let me know. I'd love to hear them. Till next time.